Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So Gav here with Gav Tarantulas and today's video uh, I'm probably going to do like a, a few today and film them because I'm going back to work in a couple of days so I've been off since March so it's going to be good to get back into work. But the first video that I'm going to do today is Camel Spider so my Solfugia, uh, Sand Spider, uh, Wind Scorpion, whatever they're known as. Um, it's not a true arachnid and it isn't either a scorpion, so in between the pair. Um, looking around on the internet, trying to find who's had these longer, um, giving some more information because there's not a lot of information out there um, from these. I see a lot of people have them and they don't last past a few weeks to a few months in the hobby and they just die. For me, this one, I've got a female um, and I've had her now for... Um, I think it's just going over two years, probably two years, three months, something like that. When I first had her, if you see in my uh, previous videos, I kept her on sand because I thought um, when you get these, obviously in the desert, they live on sand. But of, if you look at documentaries of these and you see them on there, they technically don't really come out during the day because it is too hot. They come out at night or early morning and then go back into their burrow. So they just scutter around on the sand. Uh, and they don't really sit out exposed because they don't like it. So what I've noticed with mine is mine will only sit out if it needs to warm up um, and then normally it will come out at night time. At first it started eating during the day, started eating in the evening, then it stopped eating during the day and went just purely eating at night time. Sometimes every now and then I could feed it and just hand feed it, it would take it and then just start chopping it up with its jaws. But um, it's changed. So it's been, I would say, eight months since it's eaten maybe a little bit more um, reduced in size slightly obviously the abdomen shrinks down but because of the weather we've had going on and I've, I've moved and uh, the temperature slightly fluctuates I've noticed with them as well they go into like a dormant period so um, if the temperature drops a little bit too much they sort of don't move they go sluggish they curl their legs in um, if, if it was a tarantula or spider, it looks potentially like death cold, but it's not. They just go sluggish. It's like a hibernation without going into hibernation. As soon as the weather picks up, um, they start getting more active and then they will start to feed more. So I've noticed with mine, I've kept it completely separate, which we'll see in the, the video coming up in a second from my others. And I keep them just in the window. And at the morning, I've got one of the windows on a certain facing wall. And by about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning, it's nearly 30 degrees in that window. And it's not that temperature outside, it's just obviously magnified from the window. And it heats up the enclosure and then it becomes active. Um, but still no eating. So what I've done this time is I've changed the enclosure. I've took all the sand out and I wanted to put substrate in um, to see what happened, what she would do. So you'll find in a minute when I go through that, she completely looks shocked straight away sits there for an undisclosed amount of time and then starts doing different behaviors starts burrowing digging and i'll show you through the process of that but with these i'm trying to find as much information as i can so i know a few of you out there do have them so if you've got any tips as well give them to me but i think on this one now i am narrowing it down so i'm looking to hopefully get a male and start trying to see if we can breed these because I'm, I'm doing this quite well on this one but this species alone if you look on the internet <coughs> excuse me you get a load of false information so you get random different things like this picture here when you put on the internet it comes up and it shows that they're this big and they're not so they normally get so a few inches some can get about this long and some a little bit smaller there's all different types i think there's up to a thousand um, different variations and um, with the speed they can run up to 30 miles an hour all this sort of stuff is a little rubbish i've seen 22 is a little rubbish um i think the top it's been clocked is at 16 kilometers an hour so that's what just under 10 miles per hour so that's 0 0.9 miles per hour which if you think about it for a bug uh you know a spider well not a spider but you know for an invertebrate this size that is extremely fast and the other one is that they chase um <coughs> they chase humans which is what they don't do um, because in the desert if you see any documentaries when they're out in the sun and they get caught out from the burrow or they can't um, burrow down somewhere they will run to the nearest shadow so that's where soldiers are in the desert they see the soldier they're chasing the shadow not the soldier so there's a lot of misinformation about this one so without further ado we'll crack on and get straight into this video okay so here is my camel spider 
my Solfugia. So I'll just give you a quick look at her there. And this is the enclosure all tipped out, all clean, so thoroughly sterilized again. And I'm just gonna put quite a bit of substrate in this one. It's a, a new mix I'm using with topsoil. Uh, just so it makes it a little bit more clay, but still holds the cocoa fiber consistency is what I prefer. And what I'm gonna do is put it on a slope and do it as a slant, but put some more substrate in so it's a lot deeper. The reason I'm gonna do that is for the species, they don't really like water dishes or being sprayed with water. They absolutely hate it. So the way they would get it in the wild is in the morning in the desert, there'd be um, a sort of dew on the mist on the uh, hillside and they would get the water that way. So that's how I'm gonna do it for this one. So here we go. So here's the finished thing. So quite simple. I've put a water dish in just in case if I ever need to. A little bit of decoration, but I've done a nice deep tunnel and I've made it compact. So she should hopefully find it and then work her way in and then start constructing her den or tunnel. So let's crack on with that straight away. Okay, so let's see if we can pop her in. Should just slide out. And looking at her recently, um, I think she is old. So she like turns her legs in slightly, but she's been doing this for quite some time. But I think she is actually quite old in this one, but she's still looking really, really good condition. Absolutely beautiful. I'll give you a close up look at her in a second, just to see if you can see her face a little bit closer but she stays like this for a few moments when she was younger she would have scuttled off straight away just ran off but she still moves around but just not as fast but there we go so you can see her breathing there on the, the abdomen but the jaws are absolutely monstrous on this one so yeah very very good okay so this is much later um, she stayed, just sat in that position for quite some time, didn't move at all. Uh, come back to find her, start moving, so she's got a bit of energy around her. And she was looking for her hide that she originally had. It was always in the left side of her enclosure, so that's where I think she's gone over there. Um, but then when she realized it isn't there, she'll start moving on and trying to find somewhere to hide because that's all they want to do straight away. But you can see she is a bit like sluggish and a little bit slower, the feet curling on one side. Um, well, she's been like this for quite some time. So obviously, as I said, she hasn't eaten for nearly a year. But I do think she is old and at the end of her life. But um, there we go. So I think another hour or so later, come back to find her digging. And I know she looks stuck, but she isn't. The jaws are so strong. She's just chopping away at the soil that are compacted really deeply down in there. So it's gonna be really stuck together. You can see the top soil mixed with it, which gives it like a clay sort of consistency on the inside. But I'll show you more footage of her later. Here we go, I had to come up slower now because she was starting to notice my light and she wouldn't move every time she noticed my light. So I'll come up really, really slow because it's starting to get till dusk now in the evening, but you can see she's more active. She's got all her legs out. She hasn't got them bent in, so um, it's just something that makes it easy for her to move around, but she's definitely constructing her home. And she's moving it out. So I'm doing this for the purposes to see if there's a difference in if she's not just gonna sit there and lay there, to see if I can get her to eat again. If I can manage to get her to eat again, then I'm gonna think about getting a male and see if I can pair her. But I do think she's towards the end of her life, but just wanna make it as comfortable as I can for her. But there you go, you can see she's pushing it up and then goes back around to get some more. So this is the following day. And I come in to find it's completely closed over. So she's been out, run around and then closed it over completely. So it's like she's done some sort of, um, with her jaws and like, I don't know if it's saliva, spit or whatever, but um, the bit she's put over the hole, it's gone a little bit harder. But you can see as I've got it all damp, um, in the window there's 26.9, it's only early in the morning, so it'll still get a little bit hotter than that. So it's lovely how she wants it. But you can see that the moisture's starting to come off the substrate, so it'll make the substrate below go a lot harder for her, which will be cooler inside and then warmer on the top. But there you go. So any comments for anybody having theirs, uh, please leave it below. And uh, I hope you enjoy that video and I'll see you on the next one.